Okay, it's recording. <clears throat> hey everyone, my name is Peridot, and today I have taken over Melody's channel. Hey, you can't do that! That's her channel, you can't just randomly take over it! Pinky Place, right? What are you doing here? Um, and if you don't mind me asking, who are you? Oh, my name is Peridot, and, um, I am a gem from Earth? Where's Earth? Earth is a planet, silly! Um, you mean there are other planets in other, like, wait, what kind of creature is a gem? I have, I've never really seen a creature like you before. Well, gems are kind of... Peridot, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, what are you guys doing? Um, well, um, Peridot was just, um, taking over your channel and we we're like, no, Peridot, you can't do that! Um, yeah, basically. Hey, I was just trying to make a video. Okay, okay, you guys. Um, if you don't mind, I have a Q&A video to record for, so, um, could you... Oh, sure. I'll just, um, sit over here. Yeah, um, do you mind if we join you too? Sure. Yay! Q&A video party! Okay, you guys. But, um, gotta be a little bit quiet, alright? Because I gotta record for this Q&A video, and everyone really wants to know the answers to these questions, so... Can you guys do that? Um, okay, no problem. Sure! Okay, so, wait, let me get this straight. You're recording a Q&A video. Yeah. So, okay. Without further ado, I'm gonna, um, introduce myself, so... Give me a moment, you three. Hey everyone, it's Melody Snowflake VA, and as you can tell, I just did my Peridot Flourish I Am Pinkie Pie impressions as requested on Twitter. And, um, yeah, with that out of the way, we can actually get to the questions, because, yeah, <laughs> you guys sent me 45 questions. For those who don't know what's actually going on here, I recently hit 500 subscribers and held a Q&A uh, for about two weeks, and... You guys sent me a lot of questions, uh, both on YouTube and on Twitter, and I'm going to answer them all. And also, I put out a poll, um, asking if you guys wanted to hear any of my voice impressions, and some people wanted to hear all three, and Peridot won, so I, I did hers first. Um, but yeah, those are my voice impressions of Peridot, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershy, and they're all probably somewhere in this room right now listening to everything I say. But anyway, without further ado, it's time to answer all your questions. I have at least 43 que questions written down, and uh, a lot more on YouTube, so we better get started. <laughs> I have a lot to cover. Also, um, I'm sorry if I can't answer some of your questions, because if you ask me something I don't really know about, then I'm going to be like, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know about this thing. But I'm going to try my best. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Fuzzy Dizzy Studios asks... First question from her. Where'd the name Melody Snowflake VA come from? Um, well, the name Melody Snowflake VA uh, came from... Okay, here's an interesting story. So, from a very young age, I always liked music. And ever since I discovered that Melody, like the word Melody, could be a name, I always wanted to be known as that if I ever made, like, uh, an online persona or something. Um... So yeah, I've always liked the name Melody. Uh, as for Snowflake, it was actually a bit more complicated. Uh, at first, I didn't know what my um, online last name would be. I wanted to name myself Melody Rose at one point, or Rose Melody, or I don't know what. But basically, uh, I saw people with that name already on either Amino or somewhere else, and I'm like, I can't copy that. So. I wanted to think of another alternative. By the time this channel was created, I still didn't have a name. In fact, I, I went by MLP FIM Fan Forever at one point, and then it changed to My Little Pony Fan after a bit. If you scroll all the way down to like early 2017 videos, <laughs> that was what I was known as at the time. But anyway, um, I digress. Snowflake actually came, uh, it was, was actually inspired by the pony uh, OZ Snowdrop from the Snowdrop fan animation. And uh, that's because uh, if you guys have been following me long enough, you'd know that I can't really see very well. And Snowdrop, she can't either. So, well, my, my eyesight isn't as, like, I, I can see some things, it's not, like, it's very blurry. But, um, 
with Snowdrop, she can't see anything at all. But because of that, in a way, I kind of relate to her. So I wanted my name to be inspired by Snowdrop. But I didn't want to copy it, so I changed it to Snowflake instead. And VA just stands for voice actress. And, you know, I, I do voice acting work, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, that's how the name originated. Um, so to recap, it started off as a name that I liked from childhood and Snowflake, the Snowflake part was inspired by Snowdrop and the VA, well, it stands for voice actor. Okay, next question. Number two, also by Fizzy Dizzy Studios. How did you decide to become a VA and when? Well, actually, here's a very funny story. When I was 14, my mom actually told me once that, hey, you should pursue voice acting work as a career. And I was just like, voice acting work? I can't do that. That's just ridiculous. And it's really ironic because um, at the moment, I'm actually striving to become a professional voice actress one of these days. I'm actually hoping to do that. Anyway, um, what happened was, what changed my mind was, Back in 2016, I found the audio drama Bride of Discord, and um, I realized that all the people voicing in that were just fans, you know, just regular fans of My Little Pony. And I remember thinking to myself, oh, you don't need, like, professional training, or be it, you don't have to be a professional to actually voice act? That's interesting. So I decided to try and, you know, do it. So, I've been practicing my voices ever since then, and um, you just heard the result a few minutes ago. Okay, next question. Also by Fizzy Dizzy, Dizzy Studios. I'm, I'm gonna tell you when the person changes. Okay. How did you get into the MLP Fim fandom? I, I call FIM Fim. <laughs> MLP Fim, Fim fandom. Or how, did, or how did you get into the show in general? Um, in 2014, uh, so all my life I've heard of the show My Little Pony. That Back then it was like G3 when I was younger. But uh, I was never really into it. But at one point in 2014, I was really bored and I was like, you know what? People really seem to like this show. It's everywhere. So I'm just gonna go watch one episode and see how I like it. Um, I didn't get to it, into it at first, but it just um, happened over time, I guess. I watched a few episodes every now and then. And then when season 5 came out in 2015, I decided to just follow the show and see where it led me. And eventually, I just got sucked into it, like everyone else eventually does in this fandom. And I found all the fandom work, the fanfics, and the audio dramas, and I was like, oh, this is so awesome. So before I knew it, I became a huge fan of the show. And what's ironic is, at first, I was like, I'm probably not going to get as into it as other people around me are, but, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to try anyway. And now I'm just like, brony for life. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that question. Uh, by the way, if you want to know, I joined the fandom officially. I, I considered myself a brony officially in December of 2016. Okay, next question. How did you get into Steven Universe and should I start watching it? Yes, you should start watching it because it's an amazing show. Okay, 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 okay. Slow it down. Backtrack. Um, how I got into Steven Universe. Um, it's a slightly less complicated story than Ponies. My friends, uh, MLP Sparkle Girl and MLP Candy Daz, got into the show um, shortly before I did. Well, actually, they've been watching it for a while, but they got obsessed with it shortly before I started watching it. And basically, everyone in the chat, like, I have a few group chats, and everyone's just talking about it because a new episode got released, uh, Change Your Mind, back in January, and everyone was just fangirling. And, and I remember, uh, I heard of the show a few years ago, but I never really watched it. I never really got into it. But everyone was just so excited about it, and Sparkle and Candy, they, they, they couldn't resist. They had to talk about it, and I was like, okay, okay. Um, tell me about this show and they were like you gotta watch it they, they hyped it up so much that I was like okay okay I'll go check it out so I did and um, I kind of ended up binge watching the entire series in a week but yeah it was a really good show it it, it just it just it just drew me in and and uh, the rest is history I am a Steven Universe fan now officially <laughs> okay next question what's your favorite food Ooh, this is a really tough question. Uh, I like uh, fried chicken wings. I like chicken nuggets. Ooh, I love sausages. You like 
do like sausages, like hot dog, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I love those. Those are so good. Okay, uh, those, some of them anyway. Um, next. What other shows do you watch besides MLP, Steven Universe, etc.? Well, I watch Tangled the series. Um, Sparkle and Candy got me into that too. And another show that I used to watch uh, was Wings Club back in 2013 to 2015. I got really upset with that show at one point. Um, there's another show that people never heard of probably, but it's called Angel's Friends and I really like that too. Sadly, I don't think they're releasing a season three, but what they what they have released is really good. I recommend it. Um, okay, uh, that's basically it. Um, I also watch a couple of animes, but I'm not really into the anime fandom. I I've seen Angel Beats and Your Lie in April, which are both really sad <laughs> like emotional and yeah because uh, sparkle and candy are trying to get me into miraculous <laughs> so that's basically it for the shows okay so we're moving on to the next person miraculous rare asks first question favorite cartoon when you were younger oh gosh i have a few i remember i actually uh put them in order because I really just liked keeping track of my favorite cartoons apparently so one of the first shows I ever got into was, was Sesame Street and that was when I was like two years old I can barely remember it just barely my mom said I used to walk around and like talk in an Elmo voice like do an impression of Elmo when I was little I should have known I wanted to be a voice actor why didn't, why didn't I know that? but yeah um I used to do that, and I got into Barney and Friends, and this uh, show called High Five, and then uh, I got into Dora the Explorer when I was five, and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse at around the same time, and by the time I was six or seven, I had, like, a few obsessions. I was obsessed with Barney and Friends and Dora um, at the time, and um, after that was, like, I used to watch a lot of Little Einsteins because I'm a music person and I love science as well, something not many people know about me. Uh, but yeah, and uh, one of the more recent ones was when I was 9 or 10, and I got into Strawberry Shortcake. Not the new one, like the 2003 version. I love that show. In fact, I have an entire playlist of songs downloaded in my um, device here, like offline, so I can listen to them because I still brings back so many memories. So yeah, those are the shows that I got into as a kid. Okay, what's next? Favorite ship in MLP, not including main ones. So I'm gonna assume you mean canon ones. Um, well, I mean, Pinky Dash is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, like it's it's a it's a fun ship, you know. And I. But, but what's weird about this is I also kind of shipped Flutter Dash at one point, but thanks to Magpie Pony and Lost Narrator, I kind of got leaned more towards Pinky Dash nowadays. Uh, I also shipped Flutter Cord, because, you know, the Bride of Discord and Daughter of Discord series had a huge impact on me. Um, there aren't any other major ones. I guess Rare Jack, but not I don't really ship that as strongly as the others. But yeah, I don't really have many major, like, ships that I like. But uh, when I read fanfics, I'm actually okay with whatever whatever pairing as long as the story is good. So yeah, I'm not really that particular when it comes to shipping. And I'm not like a hardcore, I want my ship to be canon shipper either. I just think it's cute. Okay, next question. Do you know any other ang- Sorry. Do you know any other languages besides English? Well, I'm actually Chinese. Uh, my whole family's Chinese. Uh, I'm a Chinese, but I'm not really good at speaking it, and I'm not going to do it now. Uh, so yeah, I know that, but I'm not really good at speaking that. So, yeah. Next question. How are you so talented? Uh, thank you? <laughs> I don't know. I am I. <laughs> Thank you, though. That means a lot. Okay. Pony Champ ninety asks, number one, how much do you like cats on a scale of one to ten? One thousand. Okay. Uh, ten. I guess. I mean, if you want a one to ten scale, but cats are so cute. Um, there are these cats that like just just roam around like 
the ground floor of my apartment, and me and my sister would often just go, um, check them out, and just, yeah, because I love cats. Um, oh, uh, you only asked one question, okay. Uh, Kenny Droppin' Peppermint asks, What's your favorite Steven Universe song, That Distant Shore? Is there any competition? That song gives me the feels every single time. But all the other songs are flipping amazing. Like, after That Distant Shore, I can't pick a favorite anymore. But maybe I'm just being a bit biased, you know, because laugh is lastly. <laughs> okay. What has been the best moment in MLP? When the cutie mark crusaders got their cutie marks. Wait, what? I didn't even think of that answer. It, it just blabbed out. Okay, but yeah, I, I love that moment so much. Um, favorite food? Like I said, chicken wings or hot dogs. The Space Pony asks, What do you want to be when you grow up? A professional voice actress. I don't know if I'll actually get it there. I mean... But I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to try. I'm going to audition. I'm going to practice. And keep doing the question. Because why not? <laughs> um, can you die? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll stop that. Um, but yeah. A professional voice actress. I hope to actually voice for animation one of these days. What kind of character traits do you like in your favorite characters? Oh, gosh. It's actually hard. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to just go list off all my favorite characters. Uh, I have the tendency to like characters with tragic backstories. I don't know why. I mean, look at Lapis. She, she makes me cry. <laughs> no, she, she doesn't make me cry, but she gives me the feels. Because her story is just so sad. Anyway, um, I guess I like characters who are genuine. Like, I like it when you can actually feel for them, I guess. That's what makes me connect with them the most. And they have to be relatable as well, I guess. Fluttershy and Starlight being my favorite ponies. Oh, I like Twilight and Pinky too, though, so help me. <laughs> but yeah. What is what is currently your favorite song? Oh, gosh. At the moment of recording this, I can't get Gypsy Bard out of my head. Um, but I guess maybe it's because I've been in Steam Universe, but once again, that distant shore. <laughs> um... I dare you to speak Singlish. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, for those who don't know, actually, you know, you know what? I'll do it. But, but for those before that, uh, for those who don't know, I live in Singapore, and there's this thing called Singlish, where we mix English with all our other languages. So I'm gonna just talk like this, and um, and I don't even know what to say in Singlish. Crap. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I don't normally have an American accent when I'm not recording. Um, what should I do? So let's say I'm gonna order some food. Hey, uh, auntie, can you give me like two plates of, uh, chicken chops? <laughs> Ignore that. Okay, I've done your dare, okay? Okay, close. Dark Sparkle asks, What's your favorite pony from the main six? Oh, gosh. Fluttershy and Twilight are currently fighting for a first place. So I can't really tell right now who my favorite is. Who do you like? Oh wait, no, sorry. Do you like any more Cartoon Network shows? Um, I watched a little bit of Adventure Time, but I haven't been caught up. So I haven't really watched many Cartoon Network shows. I should probably go check them out one of these days. Okay, next. What's your favorite character from Tangled? Tangled the series besides besides Cass. Oh gosh, oh. <laughs> um, first things first, uh, congratulations, you figured it out. Cause I put, I put like a tweet on Twitter a while back about uh, Tangled spoilers and you, uh, Dark Sparkle, you probably guessed I was talking about Cass, Cassandra, or Cassandra from uh, Tangled. But um, my favorite character besides Cass would be Rapunzel herself. So, uh, Spinal Star asks, do you have any favorite ships? Um, you mean in, like, in general? Um, I mean, all the canon ships from MLP and Steven Universe, obviously. Um, I think Pinky Dash is cute. I think Flutter Dash is kind of cute. Um, like I said, I ship Flutter Cord. And if a, if a fanfic is written well, I can ship the characters for that particular fanfic. So, 
yeah, that's a thing. Um, as for Steven Universe ships, I mean, I mean, I think Lucky and Parada are a cute pair. I don't like hardcore ship it or anything. I just think they're cute. In the show, I don't like necessarily ship it. They're like best friends. But I've seen some fandom works, and they're trying to pull me into the Lapidot thing, and I'm like, oh no, it's happening to me too, isn't it? But yeah, um, I, yeah, th those are some of my favorite ships. Uh, Lapidot and Paradox. I think they're cute. But I don't hardcore ship it or anything. But yeah, I think they're cute. Same goes with all the other pony ships. Moving on, what are some of your hobbies? Well, I do some writing. If you guys uh, follow me on like Amino, especially Steven Universe Amino, I do a lot of writing. Uh, I write like mini fanfics. Um, I write poems. And I, I write songs too. For those of you who follow me on my channel for long enough, you know I occasionally post a draft of an original song. Um, I sing and practice voice acting, obviously. Ooh, probably. Yeah, you probably just heard me. Uh, but yeah, I sing and practice voice acting um, quite regularly. And I also um, just call with my friends and chill out <laughs> and watch YouTube because who doesn't? Okay. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob M slash Dr. Pepper King asks. Here are quite a. Oh, there are 20 questions. Okay. Um. Do you like Dr. Pepper? Uh, you mean the drink? Or, because I don't, I don't know it. <laughs> I'll, if, it, if you're talking about the drink, I haven't had it. If you're talking about something else, then I don't know it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are your thoughts on Undertale? Um, I have never seen Undertale. I know there are people who love it, though. Um, what are your thoughts on Cuphead? Uh, I've never even heard of Cuphead, so I'm sorry. I can't really provide an opinion on that. What are your thoughts on Forensic Files? I don't know what that is either. I'm so sorry. Um, what are your least favorite type of music to listen to? Um, I don't necessarily have a least favorite genre or anything. Like, because, you know, um, songs come in all shapes and sizes and stuff. So, I guess it really depends on the song. I don't really have a, le a least favorite type. What's your most favorite type of music to listen to? Well, I like cartoon soundtracks and I like theater musicals and stuff. So yeah, I guess I do like pop too and the occasional other genre. Like I said, it really depends on the song. Um, is there any media title, TV show, uh, movie, video game, um, book, etc. that you have no interest whatsoever in experiencing for yourself no matter uh, and no amount of convincing would change your mind. Um, I mean, I can be pretty stubborn sometimes. Like, um, like for a fact, I know for a fact that there have been a lot of times when um, some of my, even some of my current favorite shows, it took me a very long time to actually just check it out because I'm like, I don't know if I'll actually like this thing. What if I don't what if I get bored um, but I would say there is one specific thing that I would never under any circumstances check out well I guess like really violent stuff and really um, you know inappropriate stuff I would never do that like check those out because I just I can't take it um, uh, and, and horror I can't take like really extreme horror so I probably won't ever check those out but apart from that not really Nothing specific, anyway. Is there any media title that you really want to experience for yourself and would and you'd even go to the ends of the earth to find a copy of it if it if it was or became obscure? Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm really obsessed with Steven Universe, so if the episodes get removed from any website that I watch it on or anything, I'll be like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a coffee, whatever it takes. So I guess Steven Universe, but I've already experienced that. If it's something new, then yeah, I don't know actually. I haven't really, um, I haven't really, um, well, I, if it's something new, I haven't really seen it yet, so I don't, I wouldn't know. But at the moment, it's probably Steven Universe and, um, uh, ponies and, and, you know, my fandoms. Okay, which ship do you like more? 
flashlight or starburst? Oh, oh I forgot to mention I kind of ship starburst. Um, but yeah, uh, starburst. Um, I, I, I actually kind of ship it a little bit. Okay, which ships do you like more? Cruise ships or battleships? I like how you made the pun of the word ships, um, like twice, because, you know, ships have many meanings, well, at least two. Um, I say a cruise ship. Battleships are really cool, though, uh, but I prefer cruise ships, because I don't know, I just think about them. I've been in one before, uh, when I was really, really little, but yeah, I've been in one before. If you could sw swap place, swap, sorry. If you could swap voices with any Pegasister for a day, who would it be and why? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, don't don't kill me, but um, if she's watching this video, don't kill me. But I would love to switch voices with um, let's see, probably. Oh my gosh, probably Ashley H. Uh, because she has this really beautiful voice. Yeah. She has a really pretty singing voice. And I just like her voice in general. It's, it's really pretty. Uh, don't kill me, Ashley H, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, if you could swap voices with any brony for a day, who would it be and why? Oh, gosh. Well, Dr. Wolf? <laughs> don't kill me! <laughs> uh, uh, but the reason is because... I mean, I, I watch his videos a lot, and he was the very first um, Brony channel I actually started watching, and I, I just like, uh, his voice is really soothing and, and stuff, so yeah, I, I like it, um, especially when he's recording his videos and talking about his favorite episodes and just doing reviews, yeah, and especially those moments with Dr. Wolf series, I love those, okay, which character and slash or celebrity voices uh, do you have the most fun doing doing impressions of? Well, I love doing Peridot. It's like something I do every day. And I keep practicing it because I keep worrying that I'm going to lose it. <laughs> um, so yeah, Peridot from Steven Universe. And um, I guess Fluttershy from My Little Pony. Uh, I haven't been able to do many celebrity voices, but because I can voice Peridot... I tried uh, doing the, an impression of her voice actress, Shelby Rabara, sometimes. So yeah, I don't, I don't know how good it is, but people say it's good. Uh, but yeah, um, I, but mostly uh, I voice um, characters, not really like celebrities. But yeah, uh, what act, what acting roles on camera and slash or voice, voice, voice over by Tony J? Do you like the most? Um, I may be completely clueless and living under a rock, but um, I probably don't know what roles he's been in, so sadly, don't, I can't answer that. Which acting roles by James Earl, J James Earl Jones, do you like the most? Uh, I don't know who that is either. <laughs> Which acting roles by Tim Curry? Yeah, Tim Curry. Do you like the most? I'm living under a rock sometimes. I just, I don't really know names of, like, the actors sometimes. So, so yeah. Uh, which acting roles by Scarlett Johansson do you like the most? Uh, I don't know who Scarlett Johansson is either, but, but their name sounds really familiar. I should go look them up. Um, which acting roles by Tara Strong do you like the most? Twilight Sparkle! Um, oops, sorry, you probably heard that. Uh, Twilight Sparkle. Uh, and she did a good job on Timmy from, um, Fairly Out Parents as well. It, I think that's her, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, she did really well on that. Um, and of course, uh, the pop of Girls. I forgot which character she voices, but she did a really good job. Um, which acting roles by Emily Blunt do you like the most? I don't know who she is exactly. <laughs> so sorry. Um, so sorry, okay. If I get the answers to these, I'll just reply to you in the comments, in the comment section, because I really don't know who these are. I might, I might have to look them up. But yeah. Um, what's your favorite skit by Pro Z? Who's Pro Z? Or what's Pro Z? Um, I'm sorry, I'm probably clueless to half of your questions. I'm so sorry. 
Um, but yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the questions I've written down. Now I'm gonna have to go to YouTube and um, and look at more because uh, I I I got some newer ones that I didn't have time to write down. So let's see. I'm gonna go to YouTube now. Do, 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 do. By the way, this is a one take uh, thing, so. Yeah, I, sorry if I stumble a lot. Oh gosh, it's already like half an hour or something, like almost half an hour long. So yeah, I'm gonna go to YouTube and uh, look at the other questions I've got. Okay, I'm back on YouTube and here are the questions. So, AG Pony, a peace channel, asks, what is your favorite slash re least, sorry, what is your favorite slash least favorite fruit slash vegetable? Well, my favorite fruit is probably an apple or, yeah, probably an apple. Um, yeah. <laughs> Vegetable, do potatoes count? <laughs> but yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, let's see, there's more to that comment. Um, oh, oh, if you already, if, if someone already asked that, then throw in any kind of food for the question, like meat or dessert. Um, well, I like chicken. And for dessert, I love ice cream. So yeah, that's it for that question. Let's see what's next. Okay, so we're at our final question, and it's asked by Princess Sweet Shy, and she has a challenge for me actually. So she asked me like a whole bunch of questions uh, that are basically quotes from MLP songs, and she just kind of modified them to look like questions. And she want me to she wants me to guess each and every song. So I have to scroll all the way up here and see what's the very first one. And yeah, I'm gonna have to try and guess every single song. All right, this is gonna be a blast. Okay, let's see, I'm almost at the top. Almost there. Okay, so the very first one is, where can you arrive if, if you did a hop, skip, and a jump in real life? It's hop, skip, and a jump from season one. It's not very far, just move your little rock. We can make it if you try with a hop, skip, and a jump. Okay, next, next one. How do you fit in without magic? Oh gosh, hang on. Winter wrap up. Okay. How do you make a sweet and tasty cupcake? Is it cupcakes from season one? All you have to do is take a cup of flour, add it to the mix. Do you know something brass, perhaps quite fetching? Out of the dress. Why be at each other's throat? Um, you gotta share, you gotta care. That's a lesser known season one song. Uh, sorry if you hear the bell from my phone, by the way, because I'm using it to look at YouTube comments. Um, let's see. What is a place that is filled with so many wonders? What is this place filled with so many wonders? <laughs> so many wonders. What's all you've ever dreamed? Oh gosh, wait. All I've ever. Oh, is it? Is it? I'm at the Grand Gal Galloping Gal. <laughs> that that one from season one. That one. Um, it's all I've ever dreamed. Yeah. Do you like animals? How about an owl, a wasp, or a toucan? How about an owl, or a wasp, or a toucan? Um, find a pet, season two. Where's the promised cider? Um, super speedy, wait, super speedy cider squeezy 6000, whatever that one's called. <laughs> Did anything for Hearts and Hoops Day? I'm guessing that is the, um, what was that song called? Um, um, Cheerly, sweet, and kind. She's the best teacher you could hope for. The perfect stallion. There we go. How you doing? Um, how you doing? Uh, where is that one from? Oh, oh, the smile song. I'm silly. How you doing? Uh, wait, no, Pinkie Pie. How you doing? <laughs> that, that was cracky, but okay. Say, how do you do? Um, um, oh, the welcome song, I'm guessing. Welcome, 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 a fine welcome to you. Welcome, 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 and say, how do you do? That one. Who says a girl can't really have it all? 
Um, was it? Is that? Wait. Crap! It's so familiar. Uh, I'm gonna guess this day Aria. Yeah, it's this day Aria. Will you fail or will you pass? Um, that is the failure song. Since when does Twilight Sparkle ever fail? It's probably the reprise, I'm thinking. Why so mean? Why so... <laughs> Why so mean? Why so crude? This is Babseed. She basically wrote the entire bridge down. Babseed. Can things ever go wrong? Uh... Uh... Crap! What's this one? Um... Can things ever go wrong? Crap! I don't know this one! Someone help me! <laughs> um, I'll probably think of it later. Um... Could you give me a hand here and help me fix this mess? Uh... Could, could y'all give me a hand here and help me fix this mess? Oh, okay, got it. Um, it's what my cutie mark is telling me. Um, oh, why? That that next one basically is the title. Uh, wait, no. No, no, not the title. Sorry, but the lyrics. Um, I mean, these are all lyrics, but yeah. Um, that is, I have to find my way. Your friend is trapped inside here, remember? A true, true friend. You're kind of short, but so what? We don't get to fade it. Um, hard, strong as horses. Do they ever think what others may want? A uh, bat. What if you find a gloomy guys? A generosity. Did I say zinnius? I think that's the other, um, I forgot the title, but I think that is the, uh, another Flim Flam Brothers song. How about a giant... Wait, no, no, wait, no! Crap! Did I say Zinnius is a Discord song? Sorry, a, a glass of water. Shoot. My, my brain just... My brain just had a brain fart. Never mind. Um, how about a giant party bomb? That's probably one of the cheese sandwich songs. Um, the bubbles are burst. Now what is next for you? Oops, sorry, you probably heard that. Um, that's on my mic. Uh, that is, uh, Pinky's Lament. What's a birthday party without bubbles and balloons? That is the goof off! I love that one. Why should it ever have to end? Um, oh, uh, make a wish. But who'd want that? Um, but who'd want that? I really don't know this one. Help, again. Um, I don't know if the Flim Flim Brother has Henner's song. If they did, then I don't, I don't know what, never mind, forget it. I don't know this. Um, other people argue, do you ever wonder why? In our town, Starlight Glimmer. How could any pony, wait. You, you put it, it's everybody, but every pony, it's the actual lyrics. Um, make, uh, make this castle a home. You know it's wrong, but what does it matter? Um, what was it? Um, what was that part? You know it's wrong, but what does it matter? You know it's wrong, but what does it matter? I know it's from season five. I know it is. Um, I can't seem to think of the song. I got it! I think that, that, I think that is, I'll fly, okay. Who says that you can't, who says that you can't be nice? Um. Um, I'm guessing. Oh. Oh, 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 the vote? Who says that I can't be nice? Would you believe that I've always wished I could be somebody or some pony else? <laughs> you know, you said buddy again. Because, you know, you're trying to make this look like um, actual questions. These look like actual questions. But, yeah. Um, 
that would be The Pony I Wanna Be, which is, act which is actually the very first cover I ever did back in 2016. But yeah. You've always been crusading what else is there for you. Oh, that is uh, Out on My Own, season six. Why should you join in when you could be intervening? Uh, say goodbye to the holiday. Why can't we, we why can't we imagine a changeling can change? Um, a changeling can change. Can you help her find the purpose in her life? Uh, find the purpose in her life. That's basically uh, it's in the it's in the it's in the lyrics here. Um, won't you be there by my side? Uh, 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 um, won't you be there by my side? It's so familiar. So familiar. Gosh. Um, best friend to the end of time. That's the only song I can think of. That might be it. Um. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I could be wrong. By now, don't you know us so well? By now, don't you know us so well? flawless. Don't need no mark, so why keep trying? Uh, I'm guessing that's the um, Cutie Mark Camp episode song. I, I forgot what the title of that was, but yeah. Uh, it's from that Cutie Mark Camp episode, season 7. Can I tell you if this thing is a mess? Um, is that a school of friendship? Um... Take those goblets dishes. Is that gold? Why does it sound so familiar and yet it's not clicking in my brain? Um. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know. Um. Why do you make all these gifts each year? Uh, one more day from best gift ever. Are you a loser or a fighter? Um. Battle of the Bands from Rainbow Rocks. You think you got what it takes to go toe to toe? Oh, that's um, Tricks Up My Sleeve, also from Rainbow Rocks. What More Is Out There is What's More Is Out There from Friendship Games. Who's the winner? Who's the reject? How did she answer? Um, what is that thing called? Akadika? But yeah, that's it. Isn't understanding magic worth the cost? Um, isn't understanding magic? Oh, uh, Unleash the Magic from Friendship Games. Will you be lost by time or be part of history? Legend of Everfree! Can you keep this midnight from getting free? Um, the Midnight in Me. So how about we embrace the magic? Um, embrace the magic! Hey, did I just come in last? Um, perfect day for fun. Is it a question or short? Um, where is this new breakthrough? Uh, I don't know this. <laughs> well, he got into Peridot for a second. Um, what do you say? I don't know. Oof. I don't know this one. Okay. Um, can you help me? Uh, uh, can you help me? Is it from Equestria Girls? Um, I'm trying to think, but nothing's coming to my brain again. <laughs> Do you think the coast is clear? These aren't clicking with me. Help! <laughs> Do you stumble before you fly? This is familiar, but why can't I get it? Ah! Help! <laughs> Four songs in a row now. I must be forgetting something. I have to go re-look, look, recheck. Look, re uh, wait, what? Um, I gotta go back and listen to my entire pony playlist again. Um... You've got necklaces for everyone, so what else do you got? Uh, uh, oh! 
A necklace just for every fish So what else do you got? Um, that is a probably one small thing from the movie Okay, that's that's all of it um, That's all of it Let's see if I can look at any of the ones the ones that I couldn't get um, I don't know any of these still it's not clicking. I really really need to go back and look at my um, Pony playlist because I I think I'm forgetting some things um, so yeah, those are all the Q&A, um, questions. Thank you so much for sending them. Let's see how long this thing's been recording. Oh my goodness, about 45 minutes. This is insane. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all the questions. And I've had lots of fun answering them. And especially the challenge at the end. I, I can't get all of them. Help, <laughs> I don't know all of them. I really need to go check my pony playlist. But yeah, um, thank you for all your questions. I really enjoyed answering them. And if you have any more, just feel free to ask in the comments. Um, if I forgot any of your questions, you can ask again and I'll reply you in the comment section. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And this thing has probably gone long enough and I hope you had fun listening to this. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers and for sending in your questions. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, and one more thing. Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Peridot, say goodbye to our audience. Bye, every pony! Goodbye. See you in the next video. Alright, can I take over your channel next time? Peridot. Aw, come on! It'll be fun!